Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of your favorite YouTube channel and podcast, Talking Ravens All Day, Every Day, with your host, Justin P., and my um, co-host, the lovely Shannon Fitz. Episode 40 for the YouTube channel and for the audio version, Season 1, Episode 34. You can check that out on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pandora, Spotify, Podbean, basically all your links and streams right there in the description. You know, so go ahead and check us out and subscribe. Uh, today is Mock Draft Wednesday. We're going to go on Tuesday. We're going to go on Wednesday. So um, you're going to see me solo for a while. Shannon's taking a little uh, a little mini vacation on me. But uh, it's still going to have some good stuff for you. So, mm-hmm. We're going to start with our Mock Draft. So, Shannon, you can go ahead and give yours while I pull mine up real quick. Okay. Um. So with this one, I did move back in the first round, which got us a um, – second round pick from Cincinnati next year. So we moved back to 28th pick, but we still have five picks. So with the 28th pick, I picked Zay Flowers. With the with the 82nd pick, I picked Eli Ricks, a cornerback from Alabama. Mm-hmm. With the 86th pick, I picked um, Zach Pickens from South Carolina. With the um, 157th pick, I picked um, Ja'Korian Bennett from Maryland. We all, That's a good pick. We've been high on the Maryland cornerback since we started doing this. And then at 199, I have Anthony Bradford. Um, I also did another draft. And with this draft, we have um, six picks. Okay. So um, we moved back in the first round to 24. So we're picking Deontay Banks at cornerback um, 24. At 88, we will pick Tyler Scott um, from Cincinnati, wide receiver. Okay. 121, we have Jacqueline Roy um, from LSU. And from at one thirty four, another defensive tackle we have, um, and we've had him on our draft before, Mauro Ojemo. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but I'm um, from Texas. Mauro, I don't know. Um, and f- one fifty seven, I have Eric Gray, a running back from Oklahoma. And at one sixty six, I have Jackson here, um, another defensive tackle from Baylor. Can you hear me, Justin? Yeah, I had to check the list real fast. So I uh, hold on. My uh, pick twenty-two, my first one. Oh. Yeah, I took uh, Quentin Johnston, wide receiver out of you. Hold on, mm-hmm. let me pull up uh, pick uh, second round pick. Pick eighty-six, Caillou Caillou, uh, Caillou Blue Kelly, pulling out of Stanford. Pick one twenty-nine, McClendon Curtis, defensive tackle out of uh, what's this? I think it's uh, let me see what I told. I'm sorry, he's a guard out of um, Tennessee Chattanooga. Uh, so I'm just going to pick real fast. Sorry about leaving the screen. 157, mm-hmm. uh, Rakeem Jarrett, wide receiver out of Berlin. And 192, Ali Gay, edge rusher out of LSU. You might be to pick two. Never pick one. Pick 199. They pick 199, Noah Daniels, cornerback out of TCU. I got one more, then we can go on to the uh, you know the other stuff. Mm-hmm. I did. Uh, I traded back. I traded down and got pick forty-five. I took Rashi Rice, wide receiver out of Ole Miss. Pick seventy-eight. Uh, took Keshawn Bowdy, wide receiver out of LSU. Uh, pick eighty, pick eighty six. I took a male, a Keel Junior guard out of Alabama. Pick ninety, Kaya, Caillou Blue Kelly, cornerback out of uh, Stafford, who I just picked on the last one. Mm-hmm. Sorry, like I said, sorry. I got to keep looking at the thing because I ain't write it down. Jacqueline Roy, defensive tackle uh, out of LSU. Mm-hmm. So pick one twenty four, one twenty nine. Isaiah McGuire is rush out of uh, out of um, what's the, uh, Missouri. In the last pick, one fifth seven. Okay. I took Corey Trice, not the last pick. I'm sorry, the last pick on this page. Corey Trice, cornerback. Uh, um, the school is this? Purdue. All right, I'm about to go to the second page now. Uh, once, uh, one sixty. Raheem Jarrett, wide receiver out of Maryland. I'm about to get the last two picks. 
175, I Elite Gay, Eric mm-hmm. Rusher out of LSU, and 190, Max Duggan, quarterback out of TCU. Is a backup. All right, we got. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, like I said, when the computer trip and I gotta go back. So once I get this adapted, everything will be all right. Um, all right, running backs prospect of the Ravens should look at the draft. Like, although we got three running backs, but like I said before, we might in uh, the cost is that you might add one still because Justice Justice Hill is mm-hmm. a special teamer. So, what running back would you look to take in the draft? Okay, so I have three, and I have three for three different reasons. Okay. So I had, um, I would think you pronounce it maybe Jam- Jamir Gibbs, a running back from Alabama. Mm-hmm. Um, he has the ability to catch out of the backfield, and in today's game, it's really crucial um, to have a running back that can do that. Also, um, Tajay Spears um, from Tulane. Yeah. He's not easy to, um, to tackle, even at the contact, so I think he will be a good addition. And then I also have um, Devin, I don't want to mispronounce his last name, um, Maybe Etching from Texas A&M. Yeah. Um, with his, from what I've seen with his speed and his quickness, it will be intriguing to me to have him added to the offense that we um, expect to have with Lamar quarterback. So those are my three. Okay. Right. Um, me, uh, Dwayne McBride, who the Ravens brought in for a visit today out of UAB, solid running back. Eric Gray, running back out of Oklahoma. He's a beast. Uh Deuce Vaughn, running back out of Kansas State. And B. John Robinson, um, even though we might not go running back first round, but he's a guy if we would take at 22 or later on if we try to drop down, I wouldn't be mad at it because he'll be our future back. Because like I said, Gus might not be here long term. And then, like I said, Jay help us question. Mm-hmm. So you have them two running the ball. That helps the quarterback out a lot too. I wouldn't be too mad about that. All right, uh, mm-hmm. what moves? What move or move do you see the Ravens making next? Um, well, we've been privy to some information over the past week. Um, like Slate from the Eagles saying that the Ravens offered him a contract and he was this close to signing, but the Eagles matched it. Yeah. Um, we also heard a couple of days ago that the Ravens offered um, Odell Beckham a contract. So that makes me feel like the Ravens are trying to address particular needs that we all feel like we have. Um, with free agents. And I'm not mad at that um, because had they've been able to, to snag either one of those, it may not have been a big need in a draft. Um, so the fact that Odell Beckham still hasn't accepted the contract while receiving is still a need. So that means you have to go into the draft um, thinking about that. I don't really think they can make any moves as outside of the draft. I don't think there are any moves to be made right now besides Odell saying yes to that contract or Lamar saying yes to his contract or a contract. Other than that, they just have to get ready for the draft um, because we're, what, three weeks away from the draft? So, like I said, unless Odell takes the deal that we offered or Lamar takes what we offered or we can work something out with a compromise on both sides, I don't really see any big moves being made before the draft. Well said, Shannon. Me, the only move I see being made is maybe signing a corner. Since they didn't get Derek Slay like Rockets in, because they brought him in for him, he's not gonna cost mm-hmm. a whole lot. You know, big he's what six one, six two, young corner, he's about like 26, 27, not really old. So I can see them bringing him in for a team friendly deal. Uh, Adrian Amos mm-hmm. to replace Chuck Lock. You know, that's an upgrade, even though he's a little older. Uh, maybe the Odell thing, make something mm-hmm. working fast, cap wise, maneuver some stuff around. Structure or Lamar just magically say, you know what, I'm tired. I want to get this over and just we just sign the deal and that'll open up more cap space. But those are right now, mm-hmm. or possibly a veteran office alignment to come play guard, you know, compete for the guard spot since um, Ben Powers is gone. And and that's that's about it. Not going to be nothing that's going to make you jump off the roof. Mm-hmm. No. This last topic, we can get you up out of here. Uh, build an all-time Ravens defense using current or Current and former players, be via four three or three four. This your preference. This your preference. Okay, so this was a little bit easier for me than the offense because I was able to do past and present players with my list here, like and making sure I had all of them. Um, so I did a four three because um, I mean we ran both, but I did four three just to be able to add particular people um, to the team. Yeah. So I have um, Haloli Nada, 
Tony Saragusa, Brandon Williams, Trevor Price, okay. Terrell Suggs, Ray Lewis, Adelius Thomas, Marlon Humphrey, Ed Reed, Dewan Laundry, and Chris McAllister. Uh, me, I did 4 3 as well. I'm going to go with Terrell Suggs at the DN because he's a natural DN. He just played outside linebacker because of the scheme. If you know Terrell Suggs, you follow him his whole career in college. He's defensive end, you know. Deep, three, four mm-hmm. outside linebackers, they're nothing but staying up defensive ends. Uh, some mm-hmm. that one end D tackle got Nada. Of course, got to put him right there. And the other D tackle, I'm going Sam Adams. Sam Adams. Sam Adams was a little bit more disruptive than Tony Circus. So Sam Adams can get after the quarterback and stop the run. Goose was more so a stop run stopper. But Sam Adams also got sacks too. So big Sam right there. And then in the other defensive. Mm-hmm. End, Ooh. I'm going to cheat a little bit with this one. Peter Bowen. Because he really was an undersized DN for real. You see, he just blitzed the majority of the time. So now him playing defense, mm-hmm. he gets to come off the ball as much as he wants. He ain't got to worry about no coverage. So he might get ran dead a little bit, but him getting the sacks is going to be worth it. So I'm going Peter Bowen at the other end. Got two speed guys. Okay. With the two big guys in the middle, so. All right, uh, outside linebacker, uh, Jamie Sharp, of course. I'm going to go right in the middle. And the other outside linebacker, since I dropped Peter Bowie, I'm going to go with hmm. – I'm going to go Boss Scott. I'm going to show Boss Scott some love. Uh, cornerbacks, they get a little – get a little. You said on the yeah, outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Boss Scott played outside, but, you know, uh, when we went to the 4-3, the 06 year. Yeah, so Ray, Boss Scott, and um, Jamie Sharp. Corners, this, this is a little tough. I'm going to go uh, Chris McAllister. I'm going three corners, a nickel set. I'm going Jimmy Smith, and I'm going Marlowe in the slot. Safeties. Ooh. Ed Reed, of course, but y'all don't know where I'm going to put him at. Strong safety. You know why? He was paid strong safety his first five years in the league. If anybody really, like, you know, know they would know, been fans like us for a long time, he was a strong safety and all the way up to 2000. Seven. That's when mm-hmm. he flipped to the other side. So I'm going to put him in strong. Reason being, I got Raw Woodson coming on the other side to free. So I got Raw Woodson, A. Reed back there with Chris McAllister, Jimmy Smith, and Mark. Okay. And Suggs and Pete and Bowie teeing off on your quarterback with um, Big Nada and Sam Adams clogging everything up with Ray and Boss Scott and Jamie flying around. Then my reserves would be guys like uh, Ladarius Webb, uh, Dewan Landry, you know, uh, Eric Weddle, uh, Goose, Kimiyachu, uh, you know, Michael McQuarrie, who else? Miss Jared Johnson, all those guys would be like first reserves to come off the bench. So, yeah, that, that's that's my all time starting. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, man, yeah, so that's it for the most part. Not a bad. Little short show. You know, uh, Shannon got some things to do. So, but um, when I come back tomorrow, um, just go over some stuff that's been going on in the media and all that. So, anything you want to say, Sean? Before we get up out of here. No, I can't wait to hear what you got to say about that press conference today. Yeah, I'll talk about that tomorrow. I'll get four since I'm being by myself. I'm gonna get four depth into that. Um, so yeah. Uh, um, everyone, mm-hmm. you know, like I said, I know it was a real, real short show. Tomorrow, I'm, I'm gonna make up for it. My, I might go like an hour long just to, you know. I'm gonna get y'all viewers worth out of me. <laughs> uh, you know, the <laughs> trade talk Ravens all day, every day with your host Justin P, and my wonderful co-host Ms. Shannon Fitch. Uh, talk to you guys later. We're gonna share our links and all that. Make sure you subscribe and all that stuff like that. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow when I talk about the Lions Lunch Change Conference. We out. Peace. Bye, Justin. Bye bye.